Welcome to the Morning Offering with Father Kirby, your daily call to prayer. Pray with us every day right here on the podcast and in your inbox. Learn more at morningoffering.com. Greetings, friends. Welcome to the Morning Offering with Father Kirby. Today is Wednesday, July 31st, and today I'd like to talk about all for God's glory. But first, let's pray together. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. O oh, Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day for all the intentions of your sacred heart in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world for the salvation of souls, the reparation of sins, the reunion of all Christians, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father this month. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, happy feast day, friends. Today we honor St. Ignatius of Loyola. And this was a man who... As a young man, was a knight, and he wanted to accomplish great things, and he wanted uh, this vainglory, and he had a major accident, and he was bedridden for a while, and he read the life of Christ and the life of the saints and said, this is what I need to be focusing on. This is what I need to do with my life. Had a massive conversion and began to realize that he didn't want the glory for himself. He wanted to do everything for the glory of God. And that became his motto, ad majorum dei gloriam all for the greater glory of God. And he lived by that. In fact, eventually other men began to follow his way. They called themselves the Society of Jesus, the Friends of Jesus. Now they are more popularly called the Jesuits. And this was the spirit, the charism that animated the early Jesuits to give everything they had in order to give glory to God. The early Jesuits were instrumental during the Catholic Reformation. They were instrumental in the evangelization of the New World. They were instrumental in going back to Asia and picking up where previous missionaries had started in order to evangelize the Asia and the entire world. They were unstoppable. They gave everything and everything that they suffered, all the martyrs that they gave the church, all the confessors and the torments and the persecutions that they underwent. Everything was done for the greater glory of God. That is what motivated them. And I think in our own lives as baptized Christians, we need that same apostolic zeal. We need to be reminded that everything we do is for the greater glory of God. So whether we're waiting in traffic or we're doing dishes or whether we're you know, taking care of mundane duties, everything that we do, if we offer it up to the Lord, it's for the greater glory of God. Because everything we're doing is according to God's providence. We are exactly where God wants us. And where we are, we have to seek to find God's glory there to do what we do, whatever it might be, for his greater glory. So I think we need that same fire, that same drive that the early Jesuits had. We need some more apostolic zeal, and we should always want to do everything we do, whatever it might be, always for the greater glory of God. And those are our thoughts for today, dear friends. I want to thank you for joining me. I encourage you to keep fighting the good fight. And remember, you can receive daily spiritual encouragement sent right to your inbox when you subscribe to The Morning Offering at morningoffering.com. God bless you. Thanks for listening today. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. The Morning Offering with Father Kirby is a production of Good Catholic, the media division of The Catholic Company. For more faith-filled podcasts and videos, visit goodcatholic.com.